Our world depends on fossil fuels for electricity and refined crude oil for transportation, but rising prosperity and mass adoption of cars in newly industrialized countries is creating massive pollution and serious health hazards. When I was backpacking through China a few decades ago, you can go to places like Xi'an, which is a coal city, and you couldn't even see the sun, just a little bright patch in the sky. The International Energy Agency defines energy security as the uninterrupted availability of energy sources at an affordable price. This depends firstly on the uninterrupted supply of an energy source that can meet the market demands, no matter how much the fluctuation. Secondly, the affordability of an energy source, which is generally based upon the location in which it's produced, either domestically or imported from another country. The need for renewable, sustainable, and safe energy sources is a priority for most countries now more than ever. As the world's population continues to grow and consume fossil fuels like petroleum, there will be a need to address energy security issues. China is now setting new industry standards in clean burning automobile fuel to reduce smog and has found methanol as an economical and environmentally safe alternative or supplement to petroleum. A study conducted by the U.S. Energy Information Administration estimated that China's daily methanol consumption was less than 50,000 barrels during the year 2000, but in 2016 consumption exceeded 500,000 barrels per day, reducing its dependence on imported oil. As the demand for methanol in China and other countries have rapidly increased over the years, innovative companies like Gas Techno have been perfecting gas to liquid conversion processes to expand the supply of the clean burning fuel at an affordable price. Gas Technologies has the opportunity to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions since at present 140 billion cubic meters of natural gas are flared every year. Now if Gas Techno was to take just half of that and convert that into methanol, a useful product, we would drastically reduce the CO2 emissions every year. The World Bank has been doing significant technology evaluations on gas flaring technologies. And we've been in the top three to four um, technologies in the world uh, for gas flaring reduction by the World Bank. With capabilities to convert waste gas from flares, biogas within landfills, and other renewable and sustainable sources into methanol, Gas Techno can produce a domestic fuel cleaner than gasoline at a much lower operating cost. Not to mention, the process takes place within a 40-foot shipping container, reducing their own carbon footprint while giving their solution flexible mobility and eliminating the need to import fuels from outside sources. So our plans for the next year or two are to put this plant that you see behind me into operation in the field and from there move on to the next scale and look at multiplying this concept anywhere where there is a methanol demand. In March 2017, Gas Techno signed an exclusive letter of intent with one of the top universities in the United States to develop the world's first methanol to butanol and ethanol biological process. This development will further improve energy security as both ethanol and butanol can be used in automobile as well as aviation engines. In addition to finding an alternative fuel sources for transportation, Gas Techno supports hybrid vehicles that utilize methanol fuel cells for energy supply and storage in batteries. They are actively researching new ways to develop these methanol fuel cells as the energy density is superior to battery only electric vehicles. This combines the low emissions of electric power with the extended range of liquid fuels. Methanol-powered fuel cells use energy much more efficiently than conventional internal combustion engines. Fuel cell efficiency is between 40 and 50 percent, while the engine in an equivalent diesel car only has an efficiency ranging between 10 and 25 percent per liter of fuel. Without the need for complex battery infrastructures, methanol fuel cell batteries hybrids could well be the future for the most energy efficient and electric automobiles. This YouTube video gives those most interested into methanol fuel cell battery vehicles the best basic information on the web. In a vehicle, a fuel cell stack acts as a substitute for the traditional internal combustion engine. A key difference between a fuel cell and an ICE is that the fuel cell generally does not transmit energy directly to the drivetrain and thus moves the wheel as an ICE would via crankshaft and other internal components. Instead, the fuel cell charges a central battery in the car and that battery provides power to electric motors which in turn move the wheels. 
Because of this, the cell is only operational when the battery needs to be charged and increases the cell's lifetime. Because fuel cells can wear out very quickly, there are systems in place in many fuel cell-based cars and trucks to provide energy in case the cell cannot, such as solar powers and regenerative braking systems. Other industries, like shipping, are experiencing growth in their need for low sulfur fuel and dual fuel methanol engines. This has recently attracted several global companies to meet with Gas Techno to discuss methanol as their preferred feedstock and replace high sulfur fuel oil and gas oil. The Gas Techno engineers are diligently working to develop a new shipping fuel blend to address this new market and hope to announce a strategic partnership with an engine manufacturer and major shipping owner during the fourth quarter of 2017. For more information about Gas Techno and their methanol in a box distribution hubs, please contact Walter Bredenstein at the following email. <laughs>